Hi, you guys. It's Ginger Cook with acrylic painting uh, Monday. <laughs> we may not air this on a Monday, but this is, I, we may, it may be on a Monday, but whatever day it is, we're going to do acrylic painting. <laughs> And we're going to do a neat flower vase. Mm -hmm. And like I say, every once in a while, John and I will film a tutorial. Just It's a just-in-case tutorial. Just in case we didn't get around to it. We traveled. We weren't back home. So this is, is this a just-in-case acrylic Monday? We don't know. Could be a Friday. We don't know. Well, whatever day you're watching it, welcome. And be, rest assured that you're going to learn some great things about acrylic painting. We're going to take you step-by-step step through a cool tutorial on flowers. We're going to take, show you how to take a kind of adult ordinary photo and turn it into something that's spectacular but simple that's our new model for tw model motto for 2022 <laughs> spectacular but simple can you hold your hand up your left hand up hmm? left right that's your right left yeah open it up oh yeah look oh look at that <laughs> look at all the paint i've got on my hand i wonder where that came from look at that <laughs> this is not going to be a finger painting in case you were concerned Wow, I'm just so amazed. I don't how, even know how. To, Two I seconds. I haven't touched any paint yet today. Well, I, I find that hard to believe. Huh. Either that or your flesh color is coming off and you're really a blue person. Oh, my gosh. I love that. Well, listen, happy, happy. <laughs> Let's, uh, huh. Thanks, John. I had no idea. Well. Let's scoot on down to the tabletop and you clean up there. and Sure. Okay. So... <laughs> Happy happy days. We're gonna we've happy got a twelve days. by twelve um, canvas, and it's got kind of just a light blue color on it. Very light, white, blue. very light blue, just sort of a pale blue. You could uh, you could use probably the Holbein, or not the Holbein, but the uh, Salvador lighter blue for this. Um, I think it, you could probably just use this one, which is the um, brilliant blue or you could yeah, use that's, i think that's what it was it's probably just really blue and white or you yep. could use a little combination of phthalo blue ultramarine blue and white but just something light you know mostly it's like 99 percent white and a little bit of blue okay now i want to just mention something this is my reference photo and as you can tell it's pretty dull and there's just a, it was a plain white background with some kind of half dead flowers and i don't know <laughs> why anybody want to paint this but i thought we could turn this into sort of like a Cinderella. It's a Cinderella day, okay? Ooh. So we're going to turn turn this into the princess instead of the uh, whatever Cinderella was before she became that. All right. So, oh, was well, she a seamstress type person? Uh, I think she just kind of scrubbed floors or whatever, but that's okay. Oh. It's a Cinderella painting. What I want to do is change the background. Obviously, we don't want white. So I feel like I would be happy with a what I call a dusty pink. So that means I need about 1% black in my pink. And I'm going to, I have a nice big round brush. This is called a um, no name brush because it doesn't have, oh, here it is. Uh, <laughs> can you, can, gosh, that is so small. It's a number 50. Which um, means nothing. Ra, 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 huh, round brush. One of those Raphael things or something? Raphael brush, yeah, there it is. You know, uh, and it's nice, but you know, a lot of different round brushes would work. Here's here's a you know Jerry's Pro Stroke, same About idea, same right? Size. And what number do they put on that? Sixteen. You just got to ignore the numbers. Everybody just makes these things up. You'd think they were all in politics, so <laughs> <laughs> not selling brushes. But anyway, we're gonna roll the brush into the white paint. Get a little dab of of the of the magenta and a drop of the black. Come up here like this. And I like that, but I want more white. And um, you can see how I'm just kind of rolling the brush around and just getting the outside edges. Just a touch of the black in there. I want it kind of grayed a little bit. This is what we call dusty rose over the blue. And um, now if you wanted the blue to show more, say, um, then you would use zinc white, which is a transparent. Let me just show you that. And um, same idea, uh, but we'll do zinc white and a little bit of this gray color. I just want you to see, someone says, well, what would happen if I used zinc white? You can see how I'm coming down here toward the bottom, and it might look like uh, I've got a lot of pink on my brush. So just the zinc white now allows some of this blue to show through, should I want that. 
So somebody always says, well, I don't never know when to use. I never, never, never know. That's an interesting sentence. When to use zinc or when to use titanium. Sometimes if you want something to be a little more translucent, you can um, use your uh, zinc. Now, I'm making circles and kind of rolling the brush around. And because there's already a lot of pink on the brush, you can see where as I come down here, um, down toward the bottom, I could have it more blue. Now, I could also take that blue color, which I just told you about, okay? Little dab of do ya kind of thing. Like, little dab will do ya. That brings back memories for some of you. Not Real all, cream. but. Real yeah. cream, little dab will do ya. Right? And it was so funny to me because I just, I was trying to imagine why anybody would want to stick their fingers in somebody else's greasy hair, but. Um, <laughs> Um, that was, well, the, that was thing. the whole premise behind that, that was the whole premise. premise was that the, the, you don't know it was an old ad back when I was a kid on television it was Brill Cream a little tip for guys little dab will do you use more only if you dare because something about the girls would always want to put their hands in your hair their fingers in your hair I'm telling you probably not but that was a, that was you know back in those days there were no women doing ads there were only men um I'm going to put a little bit of this blue in here too, and uh, just up in here like this, and just exactly add a little bit. Days. Yeah, you know that they just and so. I often wondered um, about you know how they came up with these ads, but they they didn't. They only had their own voices. They didn't have the voices of anybody else. I'm going to take a little titanium white now and lighten some of this up. Okay, so you see, it's not a night. It's not a black background. It's a very, very nice sort of uh, mystical pink blue background. Okay. And, you know, you can always add more. So now the trick with something like this is that we're going to dry it. All right. So if you're watching this, you may notice that this is what we call a premiere. And how, how this works is John and I hopefully are somewhere where we have Internet <laughs> where we can then chat <laughs> along with you on the side. So if you guys are watching later and can't participate in the chat, we leave it up. It's fun. Read what we're all having to say. And generally I type in capital letters and spell badly and typing isn't my best skill. <laughs> but it is fun trying to answer questions that way in a premiere. And by the way, if you ever have any burning questions, whether you're a member of our art school, Academy of Online Art School or not, you can always write us at acrylicpaintingwithgingercook.com and we're happy to uh, include your questions in our next show if it's something we think that uh, um, can be helpful to others, you know. Like if you were to write a question like, uh, well, why are there men on the moon or why aren't there men on the moon? Since that has nothing to do with painting, we probably wouldn't answer that question. Does that make sense? Are you sense? sure? Well, John might for you, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you wouldn't get an answer from the queen here, right? So, <laughs> yes. Well, I just thought I'd throw that out because sometimes people take us very literally. All right. That's true. So I'm going to go ahead and put this brush in water, and I'm going to dry it, and then we're going to trace on the image. The reason we're doing that, for the most part, is the table that we're going to put on here is an oval, and that seems to just disincombobulate, which means confuse, um, leave people just sort of standing like deers at a with with headlights and staring at deers at a he headlight, just dumbstruck on how to do an oval. And I'm, I we tell you all the time, practice ovals. They're just circles that are lying on their sides, you know. They're um, lazy circles. They're lazy circles. Practice that because for some reason that seems to be a thing that can um, challenge the most successful artists even. So something to consider. That's what we're going to do, the traceable. All right. That was my explanation for it. We thought that was good. And by the way, moderators, those of you who are coming today, and you know I've already said hi to you, but we, we appreciate the moderators that uh, come for our chats and our moderators for our Acrylic Painting Club, Acrylic Painting with Ginger Cook on Facebook. It is a free club, and it's a way for me to be able to see your um, your paintings. And I'm excited to see them. I love, I love seeing what you're painting, particularly... Um, if you're doing something from either YouTube or our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting, you post it on Facebook. Um, don't be intimidated by, it's not a comparison of it. You painted the dog one way and someone else painted it this way and you think their dog's better. It's none, none of that. that is, it's really about sharing the joy of art with the community. We want to see yours too.
drawing now. Keep it, uh, don't undo it yet. I'm going to spray the back and dry that too. Absolutely. Because uh, I want this tighter. Yeah. Yeah, they loosen up pretty quick. I'll use my favorite brush. It's just water. So you say. I suppose it was just water on your hand too. No, that was actually makeup. I make up blue. Yeah, I make up. Holy. <laughs> okay. I, that, I I think it's a little aggressive. I don't think you need that much makeup, babe. Well, I, I had wiped something off on a Kleenex and something apparently it got all over me. But. <laughs> oh, much better. I want to just show you guys something. Do you hear this? Hear that sound? That's the sound of a drum. That's because I sprayed the back of this and dried it so it'd be nice and tight. And that will make the um, transfer work better too. This little tip, your first tip of the day, right? Or maybe your second or third. Who, can, who remembers? Right? <laughs> just so funny. John and I were talking today about some tutorial we'd done a, we had done earlier in the week for another. Um, premiere and um, we were just trying to think what was that we what did we paint I don't, do you remember what we painted well it was yeah and it was just it like was four days ago it was good and then i'm thinking oh i wonder what that was yeah i mean at some point people say well do you ever get confused about stuff like this yeah like this is the um well, that's a pretty worn one that's a that's pretty worn but let's see if it even works Oh, uh, sure that's your that transfer right paper. The, uh, Make sure I have the correct side down. I don't. Apparently not. Thought I did. Let's see. Let's come on up here. I think that maybe needs to be replaced. I think we need another one of these. Since this Do you have not... another one there? You need to get up. Um, I don't have. I'm going to just throw this one away. Yeah. You can use these a long time, but just. But eventually um, they do wear out. Here's a yellow one. Is that big enough? No. Well, it might be for what we can. I can move it up. Let's see. Because I like the idea of the yellow. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just, I can use, unless you got a red, give me another color. It doesn't matter here. Oh, there's a nice big yellow. Here we go. Okay, big yellow and big red. Oh, we're going to go with the big red. Big red. Yeah, big red's good. Okay, let's start up. All right, so um, we've got the red transfer paper on there. That's from Sorel. And um, I'm going to hold this sideways. But just I want to make sure I get the... The oops. oval right. Let's see. Let's try not to get everything chipped so it's rocking. I want to, this to curve here, like so. I like to go to back and forth on it a couple of times when I'm doing the line, not just draw a line, just kind of go back and forth on the line a bit. This is straight down, keep in mind. There's our cable. All right now, notice that these flowers are looking in different directions. A couple of them are looking down. One's looking, this one is looking right at us, but this one's looking away. Do you see that? 
So a lot of times people want all the flowers to just look at them. And I want you to think about the direction. This one is kind of a halfway point of not looking at us. There's a beautiful vase down here that's curved up like this, kind of a glass jar. And then we've got this flower right here that's coming down like that. And one like this. And um, we've got, again, this vase, th this flower here, the center of it, this side is shorter because it's facing us. So we've got another one sort of facing down like this. And um, all right, let's do this one. Some smaller ones here, just to sort of, I'll just put in a few. Um, here's, here's one that's coming out like this. All right, here's another one that's coming this way. A little white daisy here. Because some of these flowers have seen better days. Yeah, they, they have. I'm not sure what the thought was behind the photographer that thought this would be, you know, I don't know. Just, <laughs> you never know. Like, this one's got a bent stem. That's not very pretty. Let's just change the stem on that. Um, sorry, sorry, somebody sat on it. I don't know that we need this one because it's looking off of here. Um, probably won't do that one. So all right, so but I have the main ones here, like this, these, so this is the main ones, and and we've got one like this, and we've got these. So that's our main ones here. Feel pretty good about that. There's the side of our vase. Here's the back of this flower. Did you put the legs in? It looked like you did the legs. I did. Uh huh. Okay. Then um. The stem's coming up this way. Got another one coming over here like this. Another stem here. And, um, okay. So how do we, do you think we have enough stuff to, yeah, we got enough. We have enough information. I feel like we could do these flowers. All right. So, excellent for us. Yes and yes. Go team. So, um, uh, what I might do is just uh, take a piece of the some white chalk, not a piece, but white chalk pencil and make a. Well, it's going to make a mark on that. Doesn't show up very well, does it? Well, that's all right. Um, We'll just be okay. We're just gonna ignore that. Now, as for paint goes, I've got I've got several types of paint open here. I know I want some yellow for these flowers, so I'm gonna take them. Just probably some cad yellow medium here. I always like to use this extra paint. Here's a new brush I'm gonna try out, you guys, from Raphael. It's a number eight, and I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow. And I know that this this brush. Is going to come this way, like that. Didn't wet it, and I notice I'm coming out from the center of the flower. See that? Coming out from the center. I want to put the yellow ones in Why I can. This is so light that I don't have to paint the flowers white again because um, this is nice. If you use it on your sides, you get some. It has a nice little edge to it. So, so you didn't of, paint it white because the background's white enough? Yeah, the white background's white enough, yeah. And uh, let's see. Because you know it's going to be a question. Yeah, well, sure. And it's a good one, too, right? And we know we've got one up here, behind, kind of behind this flower. Um, back up in here. And it just sort of want to trap these in here and then here's one above it I don't think I put it in but there's one above it like that that these guys 
all seem to be touching. And then even though this is mostly orange, I'm going to go ahead and put it down here yellow first. See, this one's looking down on our table. And this one is looking away from us. And again, it will be orange, but we'll so start with the yellow first. That'll make it kind of glow. And then we've got some sort of little orange here. And I'm going to move it over a bit. It's too close to the edge. So this guy is going to get moved over. He's more of an elongated uh, one. The oval's going up and down, not circular. And then we've got one kind of back over here where we're not really seeing much of it, but it's back up in here like that. Like that. There we go. Okay. And the biggest. There we go. So those are our, kind of our, those are yellow flowers. And then we, the other thing that's yellow is our um, table. So I'm going to go ahead and paint that um, while we still have that nice uh, oval shape. And uh, just go ahead and just get that laid in here, you guys. There we go. Okay, and then let's see. I think we had some legs here. We'll put those in. There's some shading that goes on them, but for the most part, I think that's fine. Yes and yes. So, uh, that's a good that's a good start on this. A uh, color that I know now from painting this a little bit. Now I think the color I would like is a little yellow ochre. So I'll put that out and. Um, I want to take that and a little bit of, um, let's see, cad cadmium or orange. Oh, cadmium orange. It's the color I want. That's also a light orange in your Salvador box you could use. So I'm going to take a little of the cadmium orange and a little of the yellow, tap it over here, and just kind of make sure that's the color I want. Like my mixing palette and say, right up in here like this. This is my darker side of the the table. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Like that. And uh let's see where else could I put that? Anywhere else? A little bit here on the just just a little bit on the lip here. Let's just do that. Okay. So that's a good start. Um, now, when you're dealing with yellows, you've got to kind of be careful because if you start pulling around with other colors, you can lose your yellow. So um, we, we know that there's a little bit of, little tiny bit of this orange color right up here on the top of this flower right here and on the petals here like that. I can do that. This is still wet. And uh, this one has a little bit of red coming this way. And this one, I think I'll want to go over that later. So I might just tap a bit of orange right in here like that. And I'm going to dry it. This is the key here. So um, we're definitely going to dry this. Now the next colors I'm going to want are a little phthalo blue and white, okay, and some of this other lighter blue here, these two blues, I want these two blues, okay. So we're going to come up here like this and we're going to paint our table in. I've rinsed all the yellow out of my brush and the reason I did that was why. Uh, because so you didn't get a bunch of green? I didn't want a bunch of green, exactly so. No green as of yet anyways. Yeah, so if the yellow's dry and I've rinsed it out of the brush, there shouldn't be any green. I'm going to turn this a little bit. Just... OK, 
keep the brush strokes kind of level here. Um, now let's see, let's keep, it's a little bit darker over on this side of the, of the vase. Take more of the stalo blue color over here. Don't know if we put the back side of this in or not. We may not have. Oh, I have a flower there. Yeah, I think I did. But anyway, here's the back side of this table. Note to self, next if you guys are doing that, put the back side of the table in. Okay, so this is say a little blue back here because it's a shadow side. Okay. Now let's put a little bit of white with that. Now I'm going to wipe off the excess paint so I can sort of blend this in like that. Okay. And then our vase is sort of a, a yellow green color. So I'm going to put, I can do that just by getting some yellow. And uh, my brush is dirty. So I've got this yellow green color on the vase. Just coming up this way. I'll just kind of go over this flower a little bit and then come back with it. Let's see, a little bit more yellow, yellow oxide maybe. And this side of the Let's just, we'll put this flower over here, I think, is how we're going to do this over the vase. I want to make sure I get my vase in. That's important. And this side of the vase is a little darker, so I can take a little bit of magenta. And not much, just a tiny bit. Just magenta grays green. Maybe a little blue. Let's say there's the shadow side of this vase here. Put some lines going down. And it's darker at the base. So, see what we just did? We just kind of just sort of shove that up a bit, the side of the brush. Okay, and let's see, we know we need a little bit of blue back here behind this flower. Like here, okay, so um, let's see, and I want a little bit of light right here, just it's a little darker than I want it. Let's take a little of that zinc white and just put something there. Sometimes the paintings can, dry, you know, paint can dry a little darker than you want. There you go. So there's my, ooh, there's something very dark right here. It's a shadow of green here. Let's take some, some darker color right here. Yellow and blue would make it do a dark green shadow here. Or this flower is going to be, okay, like that. I don't have to get it too complicated. I don't want to. I want, and I want to make sure that you've got this these curving like that. Make sure that this is that these are curving in both directions. Okay. And um, put a little. We'll, we'll, we can add some highlights and stuff as we go, but let's just let's just keep that curved a little bit. There we go. So there's our base and our first group of flowers. Now, we're into greens. What else can we do with greens? Well, we know we wanted, so yellow and thalo blue make a green. And if you add a little dark green, and uh, we can add a little red to that. We know that right up in this area here, it's very dark. So I'm going to come up here like this and say that this is a dark area around our flowers.
and uh, see where else do I want it. You see, even in in here, you see it's just mostly it's dark right up in this area. Before we put the colors in, so we know we had something pretty dark there, kind of dark down here on the bottom too. Um, and that's just going to be all I'm going to do with that. Anything else, we'll do, we'll, we'll need a smaller brush for. And I think we'll take one of one of these little angle brushes, same same colors, right? We're going to say that we want to. At this point, you know, we know, know we want some. I want to come in something a little closer here with my dark colors. Okay. And if I take a little lighter green, okay, just add a little yellow to that, right? Can I start putting in some stems like that? Just there were a lot. Got stems going every which way. Yeah, they they really are. This was sort of a chaotic thing here going. <laughs> But, you know, that's all right. So well, it's made it interesting. Yes. If this had such a complicated pattern to it, um, I want to put some in here uh, just because I think it's a, we're, we're going to need it. All right. And uh, I think that's a good enough reason to do it. Um, oh. Uh, there was something over here. There were some big ones here that would just. And then there were some flowers that came around here like this and just. And let's see. Do we have. Let's see. What's the top of this look like? Yeah, yeah. There was some stuff going up this way. I'll just kind of bring it out a little bit more, okay? So, you know, right now we just sort of, that's what we got. And I'm going to just take a minute and dry that, put in all my other flowers, and then figure out where I want my other colors. Okay. I think I need a tub of towels just to clean my hands, <laughs> which are getting worse by the minute. All right, so let's let's start putting in some of these flowers. All right. So I know that I want magenta and white, so I kind of want a light pink, titanium white, right? And I'm going to say that right here, there's a flower that's kind of doing that with the, just use your brush as the petal. And here's the, like the center part here, so make that a little darker. Okay. And I've got another one coming like that. We'll put some light over it, and this is coming this way, kind of like these little bells. I want them darkest where they're attached to the vine here. Okay. I've got a couple up here like that. A little bit bigger. Got a lot of these little flowers. So if there was one over here, they're bell shaped. They give us some nice balance, some nice color. Yeah, and then there was a couple right in here. 
that were just sort of together. And uh, up here, there's a couple, you know. This is, you know, one of the things I like about painting flowers is, I never thought I would, but I think what I particularly like about painting flowers is that, you know, when you buy these things, if you think I need so many for a vase and you I need a few more, you've already been to the store and got them. Here, if you look in at something and think, you know what, I just need a couple more here, a couple more here, it's no big deal. You can just have them, which is, I think is pretty nice, don't you? Okay, you never have enough flowers. Okay, so I know I've got some, got one that's sort of facing this way, so this is going to have to be white here because that's got to go over dark green, so got some in here like that. Got some back in here like this. And I've got, definitely have some right, right here that are shooting off of this way. I'll just put one here like that. And uh, how about one up in here too? Okay, let me see, there's one. And, uh, uh, Oh, yeah, here. Let's get one here like that. Say so back here, there's one. And uh, there's definitely one here. And uh, so there was one back here, kind of behind here, this one. And definitely, we had a couple coming over the front of the vase here. I guess we should do this in white. We had this nice large one here coming this way. But it's got something dark in the middle, so let's start with that. This is just magenta. You put a little purple with it if you wanted something a little darker, but the chest is not bad. Just to remember the center of the flower is a little bit darker. And here's the lighter edges. There you go. So there's the this flower. And then we've got a couple this way on this side. I guess it's one here on this side of the vase, so you don't see it. That's why I wasn't stressed too much about what happened to this vase. I knew that we had another one back under here that was lighter. And uh, down here too. Here we go. Let's say there's one here like that. Um, I'm going to put one there too. And then I think I want to drop one way down here like this. Extend this little line here like that. Kind of give a little balance here to that part of the table. And this is one of those pieces, perfect one for premiere because we can just dry it and not just we just dry it and get right back onto what we're doing. But uh, without taking up a bunch of time. Well, take up a bunch of time, but. Uh, this is definitely one where we want to stop now and dry all this. Okay, this color is called Cadmium Red Light. And uh, we've already got the, the Cadmium Orange. And uh, we want some bright, telling you what, we want some bright reds. So. I guess just kind of a fun. No, I don't want to use that color. What do I want? This is just your average red here, just your pure red color. Okay. Now, all right. So let's start working on our flowers. What do you think? So I'm going to take a small brush. I'm going to start working on some of these yellow ones. We've got a little bit of yellow and a little bit of this um, 
orange color on the brush. I'm going to come around here like this and uh, just suggest there might be some color here. Maybe take a little bit of the cad red up here and create a little shadow on this part. There we go. I think this brush might be the wrong one for that. Too long. It's probably better for the stems. Let's do a smaller one here. What do we got? Oh, that little short pointy guy. Let's see. I'm still looking. What do I got here? Um, well, we can do something short, smaller. Here's a. Here's this is a cat's tongue. That's a good one. We'll just put something here like that. I'm going to say the back of this flower right here is um, going to be in your reds, your darkest reds up and under here like that. I want to keep it kind of loose, you guys. Everybody uses that expression, but that's what I mean by loose. I know that, for instance, I want this flower here to be mostly orange. <laughs> Even though it went over the yellow. I want some real red on the back of this. Let's do something darker. And let's see what else have we got. I have something up in here. So that's in shadow. We're going to make that red. This is kind of looking that way. This flower here. Let's get some something dark back here. Maybe even some magenta on the back of this. So as we paint along here, I think I want another orange flower in here somewhere. Let's take a little bit of yellow with it. I want to suggest there's an orange flower here. Yeah. And maybe there's something going on up in this flower up here in the center. And I've got some sort of red. Just going to start playing with the reds a little bit. Make the base of that darker. And as we start to, you know, try to do that with the yellow, let's see, let's get a little yellow in the center here. Put some yellow right back in the middle of that with a little white. And let's see, how about a little bit of white and yellow? Let's do a lighter part of these flowers. Maybe there's a little um, light we could put on here like that. Just Nothing is ever one color. So if you just make them one flat color, you're going to go, it doesn't look like gingers. That's because. Why? Because it was never meant to be just one color anyway okay and lots of layers it's, yeah you gotta have those layers so you just don't have anything right so let's see i'm just gonna come around here like that and say at least this nice bright red here at the edge of this flower here like that again i want this red here I want some red there um Okay, come back, bring that back over the table. All right, so while that's having a good time drying, we're going to go back into our light pinks, which is going to be white and magenta. That's our light, very light pink, and it's going to be like really a lot of white, 
We want a very, very pale pink on some of this. Um, I thought I dried that right there, but maybe I didn't. <coughs> Just stop a minute, John. I have to get some yep. water or something. You have water over there? No, but it's all right. I just had to clear my throat. That's all. It's all right. You want me to get you water? I'm all right. Okay, and you see how we're just going to allowing the white to go over the top of these and allow some I want this to be, I want these to be really pretty pale. All right, so now what I want to do is sort of fill in with red and um, and green a little bit here. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of red here. Um, I want to dry this, and then we want to go back in with our greens and um, and put in all the stems. Okay, so now I'm going to take that little um, liner brush like this and get some of this nice bright light greens. And let's let's just start putting in some stems here. Sort of vary the greens from dark to light. Kind of quick brush movements. The Stay Wet palette is very handy for this because it allows me to um, to put these flowers on and uh, keep the keep the paint flowing enough where you could you know get to the stems. But you can always put a little water on your brush if you're not sure.
some of these stems go on top of others. These leaves, so you gotta, you gotta, you're, you're pushing some in front and some behind. Okay, they're crossing over each other. For instance, like the back of this um, flower is dark here. It's a kind of a dark green. Kind of goes out like a fan behind it. Look at the shape. Kind okay. of nice shadows. Yeah, and then this one is not so deep because it's tilted over a little more. And A little white with that. Maybe this little leaf is wider. And just a little flick of your wrist there, and you've got. Um, Stuff coming down. Well, this was pretty. This is sort of a nice. Comes down over the top of that flower. So a lot of this painting is in the final. The fine details. Yeah, in the final stuff here. <laughs> of the um, where your leaves are going. I've even, and I just see it, I've even got a little flower over here that's kind of fallen down here. Let me just get that. I've got a little flower that's right here on this corner. <clears throat> now this is tricky because there's a lot of green on this and and um I didn't dry it, but I'll see what happens here. Kind of pushing the envelope. Pushing it pushing it, aren't I? You're risky. Braver than I'd be. I'm telling you. So it's, it's interesting to me, like for instance, like for instance, we've got um, got some interesting, you know, we've got some interesting darks in here. And uh, this under the um, table is not. I'm just gonna just kind of get rid of that a little bit right there under a jar. Get some white. I want a couple. Put a couple highlights in this jar. And just feel like we didn't quite see the bottom of it. Okay, bottom of that jar a little bit better. 
there was something a little darker under here on this side. Everything's about contrast. You guys know that, right? Everything is about contrast. So I want to take some light and yellow. Come back over this one a little bit more. Let's see, how Another orange can I depth. make this? How orange can I make this? This, there we go. I need a flower. Uh, I'm going to dry this. I need a flower that's above these. So I'm going to just dry this for a minute. Change something. All right. So I know I need the back of that flower here. Okay, same with this one. I need something a little brighter yellow to go here. But right here, I wanted to change the flower and uh, take one of my magenta flowers and bring it down this way. Change the direction of it. See what I just did? I want this one to fall down this way. I can do that. Just just like that. I just wanted that flower there. There we go. And that's the nice thing about acrylic paints is if you see something you need to do, you can I'd like this to be pinker, this flower here. I'd like it to just, i like a little bit of pink on it. So I'm going to play with the colors a bit. That's sort of a, that's a luminous rose, and I think that was a luminous opera. Now that may be a little more than I want, but I, I want a few brighter colors in here. That's a pretty bold statement down there. Yeah, well, it'll <laughs> it'll it will be gone in a minute, but just I wanted a little bit of that in there. Mostly white, it's mostly white over this. Just a little bit, just a hint of that color. I'm gonna bring it back up here like that over the vase, because that's facing us. And then I want a little bit of orange. Kind of like a little bit of an orange color, like a shadow color right here next to it. Let's see, maybe even a little bit of red. And something dark red in here. Let's see, what do we got? I need a nice bright red. Something brighter red in the middle here. There we go, just sort of pop that one out. Let's pop this one too. That's not bright enough for me, this flower here. Just need a couple of these to be a bit brighter. And uh, let's see, what can we do here? Do a pad, there we go. Brighter yellow back here. All right, so we've got the um, we've got that now. So I like I like our arrangements of flowers. So I want to make sure I have something light and um.
connecting that one. See, I think I just need some light on that. Now let's lighten up some of the stems. Lights and dorks, contrast. Yeah, I'll tell you, John, it's so much of that, and people don't don't see it. They're going, well, I don't know. Why did she do that? Well, I just did that because I wanted some contrast out here. And uh, you just keep building. Again, I guess that's what I'm saying is you just keep building up your lights and darks. This is... Uh, Just that follows because it fits now. This follows because it's lighter, and this one is um, a little bit redder. This one was more burgundy right here, a little bit darker right here next to this. I wanted this a little bit darker next to here. And a couple of spots where the flowers are a little bit, you know, the bases of them are a little bit darker. This combination of the lights and darks on these, that's what I'm doing right now is just going through and All right, now we're going to play with the table a little bit more now. And in the, in the, I want to, this is pretty bright yellow here, and I don't want it competing with the flowers. So I take some white and yellow and make a light yellow color. Um, Just tone that back a little bit. I just don't want to talk about this table that much. There you go. And uh, let's see, we just, we know it's going to be, that's a little shadow there for that flower. And then it gets, gets darker over here on this edge because that's the, edge of the end of the table. And we should have some a uh, little bit of shadow right here on the legs. Okay. And then uh, I wanted to do some light and dark spots on here. So I'm just going to make sure my brush is clean. And uh, this is really what I'd call, wouldn't you say this is painting pretty loose? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to say a little blue here. Well, you already got the photograph. Yeah, we have the photograph, so I'm, I'm just breaking this up here on the table. Shadow here, maybe. Isn't the original a tile table? Um, I'm not sure if the original. Yeah, the original was um got these little spots. Out. Oh, they look, yeah. Look like maybe petals or something. Inlaid with something. Yeah. Okay. Unless so to just I I thought it might be fun to have some pink petals. Right here. Yeah. Keep them flat. Um, 
on the table. Yes and yes. Yeah. And uh, that's this luminous rose color. This is a really lovely pink. But for me, a painting like this is really fun because there's not, um, you don't have to do that much. And it can be, I think it can be kind of rewarding because it's, there's something there, but then there isn't. Okay. And you've got these beautiful light greens. Let's get some white here. Light, light greens on this. Probably need a different brush. We need one of those little skinny brushes for that. There's, it's like a white green. Let's see a little bit of gold here on the glass. Let's see, I want something pretty dark here underneath the table, right up in here. I want this a little bit darker right here. Right next to that little flower there. Just kind of bring that one out. Well, let's see. What does that look like in a, you know, when you're looking at that, I think that's, that was what I had in mind when I painted it. To do something like this, absolutely. Um, I do want to make sure I have enough, you know, like, for instance, like this, ooh, there's too much water on the brush here. It's been sitting in water, so I didn't wipe it off well. Look. Here, I did not wipe that off well. Okay, there you go. So that kind of, I wanted that, that one of those to show up. go. This is a great example of how some flowers are looking at you and some flowers are not. Yes? Some even have their back to you. Yeah, they just suddenly look Side like... view, back view, top view. It is yeah. a good lesson in that. Yeah, since some are looking away. So often we see everybody paint their little flowers facing us. Yeah, like they're all saying hi. Hi! <laughs> hi here! Hello! Paint, paint me, paint Hello. me, pretty! And just add a little more color to some of those. And uh, let me just do one little thing. Uh, there are square formats are really great. So if you're going to do this in a horizontal or something, it's not going to work well. This painting was designed to be a square. So um, I, I just want to mention that because... Undoubtedly, somebody will... Do something kind of different. Send it and say, well, I'm not sure why it's not quite right, but I thought this looked, you know, I thought this was okay. What happened? And um, I see this so, so much, and I'm just looking at my design real quick here. I want to see if I've got everything kind of going here. I could have a couple things coming up here like that. I can have a couple, something going out like this. Just That's a good idea. Just a little bit, like coming off the canvas on this side. Sometimes you want something coming off the canvas.
there. I think I think that's uh that's good. You kind of want to make sure that that's uh, balanced because this had so many things on it, but I didn't want so many things on. This had just way too many things. Well, the photographs are a jumbled. Yeah, mess. see, it's just a jumbled mess. It's a hot, it's a hot mess, and so we just kind of what can we take away and not ruin the effect. You know, one of my favorite square paintings, if you'll back up a minute, John, I'll show the fr this in a frame, is uh, this um, little dog that... Um, a little situ. A little situ, and it's, it's been varnished. You see how lovely that is, and that's will be a tutorial coming up in our academy. We've got something like that. I'd like to show those. And then I've also got, um, some years ago, my daughter, really have to back up for this, had um back when she oh gosh it's 40 over 40 years ago <laughs> 40 years ago yeah she was high work used to do competitive trail riding and she and i had and she had won second in the juniors for the whole united states and i had done a painting for her as a gift it was a 40 by 60 or four, four, 48 by 40 36 by 48 i think and um she had it for years and then it burned up in a fire and so this is a painting this is a replacement for that painting of Cinnamon when she was uh, about uh, 12, riding her pony whiskey and uh, up there in uh, Northern California. And um, she was competing in competitive trail riding. And that is also, we've turned that into a tutorial be released sometime, maybe out by the time you see this, we don't know, but <laughs> I just, we don't know when we're gonna release this particular video, but whatever we do, I just thought you guys might enjoy seeing that. that I'm surprising her with this um, gift um, when we go up to see her for the workshop at the uh, next week. Next week. So those are the two pictures I wanted you to see. Let me just um, very gently place this one out of the way, and I want to put this back in here. Oh, look and, at that. Uh, that's our, um, I think that's kind of fun. That's our, um, how to take a um, kind of a blah painting, blah photograph, and, you know, give it a little life, give it a little oomph. And I can see a couple things now that I'm looking at it that I might want to do that wasn't in the photograph, but I still might want to do them. There we go. Just a little bit of life to that uh, table. And then I think that that's pretty good. Now that's all there is to it. It's just, this is our, this is a very simplistic picture. I think you're gonna get this easily. Um, if you like flower tutorials, uh, we've got some gorgeous ones on our website with, uh, uh, Martin Head was one of my famous old DGs, old dead artists. And he, we've got some magnolias and, and uh, we've, Oh my gosh, the, the tutorials we have just uh, with flowers and glass is amazing and just big flowers. So if you're a flower fan, uh, check out not only the ones we have on YouTube, which we have a bunch, but also check out some of our um, more advanced paintings over at Acrylic Painting with GingerCook.com. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I know Why you are. You sure did. <laughs> I certainly hope we got a like, you guys. And here's the thing. Share this video with three people I don't care whether they paint or not, just share it. YouTube loves it when you share things. If you've got five people, share it with them. Look at this painting tutorial Ginger did. You're gonna love it. And um, uh, see what they say, and um, and we appreciate you very much, and we'll uh, see you uh, when we see you on the videos. But remember, we generally have a live show every Monday night. And um, so we'll see you. 5.30 Central. Central time, so we'll see you then. 5.30, bye. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes, the queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics.